Can I make you a better designer in just four minutes? I sure hope so. And so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play a little game. I'm gonna show you four web designs and each one of them, I want you to realize what the problem is. You can pause the video if you need to think about this, figure out the problem, and then I'll tell you what it is and I'll show you how to fix this really, really quickly. Let's dive in right into the first one. So we have this kind of a layout here, uh, hero section that you might see for a lot of websites. What is the problem here? Can you figure it out? The problem here is this nav menu, is this hamburger menu, which is so trendy right now, but it's actually hiding the content. I don't know what's on this website. There's no reason to use this hamburger menu on desktop. On mobile, for sure, it's very helpful because we don't have space, but in here, we should probably have something like, you know, uh, trips or about or prices. Uh, and that helps us to realize what's on this website and get there uh, faster, right? So yes, it's trendy. Yes, you can do cool animation, but this is so much more practical. And remember, we're not just trying to do trendy design. We're trying to do stuff that's going to make the experience for the user faster and easier to understand. So this saves them a click. They can immediately see what's on this website you get this, really common mistake, don't do this. Next one, we have this website here. What is the problem that we have here? Take a second to think about this. Can you realize, pause the video, what is the problem here? The problem here is that we have a buy now button, which is very, very clear, but then we have these three kind of like features and they look exactly like a button. So when you think about this, they're not clickable. People are not supposed to click on them and they attract so much attention because they are big, contrasted. And so this is confusing. This is a classic mistake, making something look like a button when it's actually not a button. So let's solve this really, really quickly. Uh, we can maybe just turn this into maybe like a line like this and then just turn this into black or something like this. Now it's so much cleaner, right? It's very clear where the hierarchy is, what the priority is, what the call to action is. And this is just information. Maybe we can align this or something else, but you got this. So do not make something look like a button if it's not a button. Next one, all right, look at this design and we have here kind of like contact form, stay in touch, you know, your name, email. What is the problem here? Can you see what the problem is immediately? The problem here is that it's not really clear that these are form fields. Yes, you can look at it and you can, you know, say, oh, if it says your name and your email, maybe that's a form, but this line element very, very minimalist, it might be beautiful, but you know, it's, it's a lot of people might not realize very quickly that this is clickable. So, you know, there's a lot of ways that you can solve this. You can maybe just, you know, do a full on rectangular with a background that's probably, you know, uh, send this to the back. That's probably the most uh, classic thing, you know, that you wanna do too many layers here. Um, or maybe you can just, even without a fill, you can just give it some kind of a stroke, but very clearly show that this is a form field, right? If you don't understand that this is a form field and this is a button, this super minimalistic thing, why, why? Let's just, has an underline, let's just make this a clear button, right? Let's just make this clear button, right? This can be on the top with black or something like this. Um, you understand, we need to make this clear, right? We need to make this a button. This should probably be black or something like this. And then stay at the top here, top, top, top. I've got too many layers here that are not set up correctly in this Figma file. And I'm wasting too much time on this, but you understood the problem. Forms need to look like forms. We just, I really need to fix this. Damn this form, ah! Do not try to work on Figma with your Mac without your proper keyboard and a mouse. This is annoying. Ah, damn it, four minutes. I gotta show you the last one. What is the last one? The last one is this one. Take a look. What's the problem here? It's a classic problem. Again, the button, it doesn't look like a button. It doesn't grab your attention immediately. Whenever you have a call to action, you want them to see the button. So put it in a contrasted color. It can be black, but it can also be like, you know, probably not red because we want this to be maybe positive or something, but make it contrasted to the background. Make sure people understand that this is clickable, right? That, you know, they can click this area. It grabs your attention. I think it's gonna be more solid maybe in this kind of color. And then this can be completely white. 
make buttons look like buttons. All right, let me tell you, if you couldn't figure out in seconds when looking at these designs, these very basic mistakes, number one thing you should probably do is subscribe to this channel so that you can get more tips and make this train your eye to become a great designer so that you can spot these things within seconds. Of course, if you wanna learn much more, check out the description. We have full on courses on web design to help you make become a better designer. And I hope to see you on the next video. Peace out.